to have uh, an image that has very little or no gradient throughout most of it, but a, a corner or an edge may have a small gradient, uh, like in this image. This top right corner has a very small gradient right here that I'd like to remove, and I'd like to remove it without really doing anything to the rest of the image. Well, there's some local gradient removal tools in Images Plus that can be used to uh, to do functions like this. It's on the point menu, background compensation, and it comes in two forms. There's Gaussian, which generates circular or elliptical shaped uh, gradients that you can then remove from an image, and planar, which is probably the most often used, generates an inclined plane, a background that can then be uh, subtracted from the image. And see, this is really a background uh, inclined plane. Its brightest part of the plane is here, and it slopes down in this direction to, to almost nothing that I'd like to remove. Okay, here's how you use this. Uh, you check maximum, and then left click on the image, uh, the uh, brightest part of the gradient that you want to remove. It'd be like right up in this corner. And then check minimum and left click at the lowest point, which looks like it'd be right around in here. And also notice that what I'm really doing is defining the direction of the slope of the plane. Here is the maximum, here's the minimum. Now to demonstrate what this uh, is really doing, I'm going to select the display background image that's generated by this command first. And to make it real obvious, I'll make it as bright as possible. And see how I, I selected the maximum and minimum down in here, and the command generates an inclined plane in that area with the, it, with the brightest part where you selected max and the dimmest part where you selected minimum. And then the rest of the, the uh, image out in here is, is dead black so that when I subtract this from the image, there's only this part of the image is uh, affected. And then I use the background weight to control how much is subtracted. Now I'm recording this video in 16-bit in and that makes this inclined plane look banned. But uh, in reality, if I were, if this were 60 or not 64, but 32-bit uh, precision that your monitor is capable of, this would be a smooth plane, and you wouldn't see these bands. Uh, you need to use the smaller bit precision when you record these videos; otherwise, they get really large very quickly. Okay, now I'm going to switch back to actually subtract it from the image, and then when I press Apply. See, it's subtracting that inclined plane from the image, but here it's too much. So I'll use the background weight and adjust it until it blends in nicely with the other background. Now, okay, here it's too dark, here it's too light. That's indicating that the minimum value is too high. So if I set that to zero, I'll be able to get it to blend perfectly. Looks like right around in that area does a pretty nice job. Uh, now you can, if you like, uh, apply this several different times to the same image. You could correct here, come down here and correct, or you could apply it to the whole image. Uh, and let's see how that would work. Here's a, an image that has several problems. Uh, it's obviously too bright on this side going in this direction and over here I suppose it's okay. It may even be a little too dark. Uh, I can use this planar background command to start fixing an image of this type. Uh, maximum, I'm going to select it on this side. Minimum in this direction, probably all the way over to here. And I'm going to actually set that to zero rather than the value measured from the image. And then I'll subtract it. And that goes quite a ways in reducing that black background there on the right. 
make it a little stronger might be a better match and then that reveals a bit of a gradient up in here and also one down in here okay well you can apply it again press the set view button to use the current view and then define maximum Oh, probably around in here somewhere and minimum in this direction maybe down around in here set that to zero and apply it again now, now you may want to crop this when you're done I'm kind of ignoring this very black line right up in here and trying to get this area to match the rest down in here and then likewise you could apply it yet another time to try to remove uh, this band here between the two dark regions. Uh, so there's quite a bit of functionality here that you can get with this planer at removing localized uh, gradients without touching the rest of the image. Now the Gaussian, it works the same way except as I said earlier instead of generating a plane it generates a Gaussian shape. So uh, let's take a look at what it generates. Let's select the background here. Maximum and a minimum might be out here. See the kind of gradient that it produces? It's almost like an artificial flat that uh, it's not used a lot, but at times it can be very handy. And this adjusts the brightness and this adjusts the size of it so that when you subtract that then from the image it's you'd be subtracting this circular shaped uh, region rather than a planar shaped 